Nevada man seen attacking Clark County judge in viral video, sentenced to up to four years. The defendant captured in a wild video last week attacking a Nevada judge after leaping over her bench returned to the courtroom where the incident happened Monday and was sentenced by her to 19 to 48 months in prison on a felony battery charge. Judge Mary Kay Holthus was gearing up to inform Deobra Redden of his punishment inside Clark County District Court on Wednesday, January 3, before the scene descended into chaos when Redden was denied bond. In a video obtained by RZ News, Redden's attorney requested the judge give his client probation. I think it's time he got a taste of something else, Judge Holthus responded. Video shows Nevada man leap and attack Clark County judge after being denied probation. Redden is then seen flying in the air over the bench with his arms and legs wide open, before landing on the judge. The defendant, who had grabbed the judge's hair, had to be wrestled off her by her clerk, Michael Lasso, and several court and jail officers, some of whom threw punches. Lasso was treated for cuts on his hands, and a marshal was hospitalized for a dislocated shoulder and a gash on his forehead. Holtha suffered some injuries, but was back to work the next day. Redden was jailed on $54,000 bail following the attack, but refused to return to court the next day on new charges, so a judge rescheduled his next appearance in that case for Tuesday. Records show the charges he faces in connection to the courtroom brawl include coercion with force and battery on a protected person, referring to the judge and the officers who came to her aid. Las Vegas courtroom attack highlights issue of violence against judges, experts say. An arrest report of the courtroom brawl revealed that Redden pulled out part of Holtha's hair, according to KSNV. The station, citing an interview in the report with the judge, said she described Redden as big, strong, and angry. In Monday's appearance, Redden was sentenced in relation to a battery charge stemming from a baseball bat attack last year. He initially was charged with assault but reached a deal with prosecutors and pleaded guilty in November 2023 to a reduced charge of attempted battery resulting in substantial injuries. Redden's criminal record is marked by mostly violent offenses and includes prior convictions for three felonies and nine misdemeanors, District Attorney Steve Wolfson said, according to the Associated Press. He previously served prison time in Nevada on a domestic battery conviction, records show.